Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I'm shaking the tripod. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I'm going to set up my computer. Your computer? So we can see the comments. The comments? The comments that people read? This one feels like a fall day out here. It does. That's why I did the street. Which is pretty gooey. I'm good. Mm. It's not soon. It's wood, ya. Good channel. Oh, dribbled. Okay. Hey. Hi, everybody. Hello. We're just waiting for Miss Cosmo. It looks fine, too, when there's nobody in. It, like, is it is a big screen? It kind of. It, it kind of? It the screen a lot more. Hello. 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 Giz. Gizzy said that they love you. They love you. Hi, Sarah. How is Gizmo? He's good. He's had a good day today. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, dude. Oh, there we go. There's our girl. Yep. Uh oh. Hello. How's it going? Good, thank you. Hi, yeah. Carl. How's it? You're 10 in one day. <laughs> Hi, Gizmo. Hi. She was just talking about her birthday. Ah. Oh, she had a good birthday. birthday. Yeah, she did. She hung out with all her friends yesterday. <laughs> Gizmo, Gizmo seemed to have a good time yesterday, too. Oh, my gosh. It was chaos here. Yeah, they, they 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 were like kids on sugar. Yeah, <laughs> like they had all like a load of birthday cake. Yeah, <laughs> and then he was done. He was just like he couldn't even like move. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Look, so I'm just gonna give Carl my phone. He's gonna make a story post. Okay, I'm going to leave the uh, the room and go into watch the live on the computer.
Check it out.
Check it out. <laughs> you gonna do the turkey for Emily? You sh You gonna do turkey for Emily? You do turkey for Emily. Turkey noise for Emily. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, there she goes. <laughs> <laughs> She's squaring up to me. She's like, hold my beer. Bye. <laughs> you might have to, um, you have something to eat. Uh, yeah, I will. You might need a spoon, though. Spoon out. Hi, Gizmo. He's just chilling right now. He was talking because I was just eating. He's just chilling. He's having a good time. Feeling good. Right. He's doing the whole deep grind and everything. Did you make the yeah. eggs? Good boy. Well, you ate all of them. Good boy. Good boy. <coughs> and you had a bath? <gasps> A bath for Cosmo? Good boy. Ooh, yummy. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. What you got there, kid? Get a bath. Hey, good boy. He's all puffed up. That's <laughs> wet, <laughs> I'm going to I'll grab a bowl of that food. Yeah. Grab my computer and I'll go up. Okay. Hi, Chloe. And then I'll be back in the chat a lot more. <laughs> Good. Hi, Bonnie. Oh my gosh, you got this wet ass. Oh gosh, soggy eggs do not look nice, kids. Those um, dumplings are actually really nice. I know. I didn't know what to do. I had chicken today and I didn't know what to do for dinner. So it ended up being a chicken, like... Um, Your chicken casseroles are different over here. They're with pasta. Um, it's beef casseroles the same. Or stew. Oh, Let's say stew. Um, oh, you did a chicken stew? Yeah, I only had chicken breast, I had potatoes and carrots and onions, and I was like, oh. And then I thought, I, I didn't have any chicken stock, so I used beef stock with red wine. And it was, it's rather nice. Yeah, just three. Sounds it. good. Yeah, I, I didn't ask for everybody. If I don't have the chicken stock, I'll just use the beef. Or yeah. the vegetable, or whatever. I do the same at Christmas. I use, chick like, the chicken, the turkey stock, and then I also use beef. Gravy granules. She always cooks yeah. enough for the whole chat. <laughs> oh, there's a hundred people in here. Easily, she could feed them, no problem. <laughs> okay, come on, kid. Do you have dumplings in your stew? Good boy, baby. What you? was that? Yeah, you, dumplings. Yeah. Like, like dumplings. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. 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 With the dumplings right now, he keeps on making these dumplings. Yeah. I'm not a huge dumpling person. I you know, he loves them though. I yeah. never used to be, but I, I do like a dumpling now and then. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. All right, Giz, we're going to leave you, okay? Oh, Bluebee, you, you entered the chat? Hi. Hi, Good boy. I'm sure Bluebee will do a lot of talking tonight. You want to do some talking, Bluebee? He loves talking with Cosmo. He loves talking with Cosmo. Yes, they, they actually hit it off really good. Yeah, he's still doing great. Okay. <laughs> yeah, funny. he was he was happy when Cuba didn't come into uh, the live yesterday. He's like, I'm I'm in there, but <laughs> and then yeah, then he shut up after that. <laughs> he's trying to work his way into be Cosmo's boyfriend or something. Yeah, oh. she. Yeah, he's like, I'm only seven, but and I'm a different species, but it's all right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what was it? You could rob the cradle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, we make you mad. He had the pipe up. See, he goes, "What are you talking about, mom?" 
right, I know you've got your, yeah, you have a crush. I know. <laughs> all right, all right. Here, have a snack. Have a snack. Well, your girlfriend's in chat. Oh, I wish you could invite more people on here. I know. It's like funny. I noticed your Facebook. Like I, like I said, I couldn't invite you guys. It would not. I would push the search button, and it would do a flickering, and I. And I've seen it for a millisecond and it would not let me search. But it, uh, in Facebook, it said three guests. Oh. So, yeah. It has to, like, I don't know, maybe I have my settings up, set up wrong. Anyway. I'm at, oh, um, I always read names as they are. Holly. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. It's your girlfriend. It's your girlfriend. She's making a video for you, okay, kids? All right, I'm going to hide from him. Because he really tries to get my... you got a floof on your beaky, babe. You do? You have a little floof. Oh, you're going back to your other person? Okay. Bloop is there. <laughs> you going to talk to Bloop? Are you going to say hi, Bloopy? Hi, Bloopy. Where is he? Where is he? He's eating his nuts. <laughs> That will never not make me laugh. <laughs> I got chat. Hi. Oh, kiss. Oh, don't start him off. Great right, kiss. All right, I'm gonna go now. Okay, kiss. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you got your mama's laugh. All right, bye, Blue.
Go to your bubble. Go to your body. Go to your body.
Blue. Hi, Blue. Say hi, Blueby. He loves you, Pod.
Ouch. What's your birthday? Yeah. Hey, don't don't tell your new friends to shut up. Happy Easter, cousin. That's not nice to say that to Boo. Boo loves you. Yeah. He's got a friend. You got this. Go make him blush. Hey, Cosmo. You go make him blush. Oh. Happy Easter, cousin. What's a birthday?
Yeah, Cosmo does say peekaboo, but it's very subtle. He usually goes peekaboo, I see you, in a very high pitched voice. And she got that from her first mom, actually. I'm actually. She is tired. Aren't you, Cos? You tired, girl? Mm-hmm. You're a tired girl. You're a pretty girl. <laughs> You're welcome, perfectly imperfect. Are you going to talk to your blue? Hmm? Your new friend? <laughs> your new friend? Or you don't go night night. Is it night night time? Yeah, I think she's sleepy. Aww. Night night time. This is a bit like that, really. There he is. <laughs> oh, you still got that flu oh, on you. He's got a floof on his speaky. <laughs> Hi, Blue. Hi, Key. I love it when they stretch. Does this group make that noise too? That like <clears throat> stretch when he stretches? Mm. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Blue Bee. He's gorgeous too. <laughs> oh, Cosmo, what you do?
What do we do? She goes, don't call me out on it, mom. She usually rats herself out when she poops. She goes, I poo-pooed. <laughs> She'll look down at it. And, Mama got a clean up mess. <laughs> oh, Cosmo. You know, I hide it. Hi. Oh, you got a kiss, Emily. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs> well, what's next? It's going to be Christmas. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Christmas. You've never said Halloween. So next would be Christmas and Happy New Year. And then she gets back into birthdays and then Happy Easter and then birthdays. Okay. <laughs> Happy, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. <laughs> That's her cheer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Cosmo, we'll do that. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. No, not today. Oh, yes. Not today, ma'am. All right. Um, All right. You take care. Have a good night. Thanks for letting us join in. It's all right. It's it's been a pleasure. Good night. good night, Gizmo. Good night, Blue. Good night, Bird. Yes. Doing his swan right now. Oh. I guess. He'll start in a minute. <laughs> oh, he's going to poop now. Yeah. Beautiful. He goes poo poo. <laughs> Good night, everybody. You guys all have a wonderful night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Say goodbye, Giz. Say goodbye. Bye, Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I think Giz is just recharging. We'll see if they talk. Let me see what it looks like because I don't want to start it. I think it's all right. That was a big flop, Giz. Hi, my baby boy. Hi. Can I give a floopy? I know. Hi, Kai. I'll give you cuddles in a minute, okay? Cuddles in a minute. Okay? Okay? Should we say Bye, hi? See you later. See you later. Hi. Huh. Where's my boy? Where's my boy? Ooh, shake your tail feather. Oh, he's going to have a stretch. He just had a nap. He just had some dinner and it wiped him out. Good boy. Good boy. Let me just check something. He's chunky. <laughs> oh, Bloopy, that was a good boy. A good boy. Hey guys, I'll be back. Okay. I'm sure Gizmo's gonna lighten up now. If not, I'll come talk to you.
Goodbye. See you later. <laughs> I said hi, not goodbye. I went hi. Hi. You got me. You got me. You got me. You're trying to get on me, aren't you? I know you want some snuggles. Say high five. Hang on. I will. You'll be back. Where are you going? Come here. You want to snuggle? You want to snuggle? Yeah. Gizmo's used to his nighttime snuggles now. Does your girlfriend need to talk? She's a taping girl. She's a taping girl. I know, I know, it makes you mad. Gizmo. I know, Cuba. What's that? Hi. Hi. The only problem is when someone leaves the chat, although you can see them big, Half my screen's black, so it's hard to see the comments. Oh my kiss, Bob. You'll be back. Where are you going? No, 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 no. What? Where are you going? Okay, I think Bloob still wants to talk. One second. Bye. See you later. See you later. And my trigger gets to talk. So. Do you cute voice? Do you cute voice? Hi. I'll be back. I'll be back. Thank you, Tracy. Guys, should we try and talk, Giz? Okay. Okay, I'm coming. Right, I'm going to get Giz up in a minute because he really wants to snuggle. <laughs> He's, guys, you'll be back? Yes, I'm coming for you. Hang on. His word. So Bloob is up there. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Beep, beep, beep. What you knew? What you knew? What you doing? Hi. Hi. You wanna come up? You wanna come up, kids? Come on then. Come on! Sip up! Sip up! Ooh! Yes, Giz. He's on me. Good boy! Hi! Hi! There we go! Oh, where'd it go below? Good boy. It's 
go over. I need to put some lights on, but he's on the light. And as you can see, he's pooed all in it. Hi. Hi, Shirley. Giz is right here. Hang on. That's too zoomed in. All right, you and me. <laughs> you see all the poop in there? We've just cleaned this one, but they've already done it. There we go. Hi. Huh? Huh? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Put some lights on. Yeah? Oh my gosh, I can't. Hang on. Giz has got my hand. Not my Ooh, I know Giz word. Giz is here. <laughs> I know it's funny, Blue B. He just likes to sit with me. It's just, I'm in mum mode with mum bun and uh, I will, I'll brave it in a minute. Hi! You just want snuggles, don't you? Don't laugh at my singing too. Stop. Stop. Woo woo. Hi, Gloopy. Tickle tickle be good. <laughs> that was half bleep. <laughs> He did. He is. I don't know if you can see him. He's on me. He's is very needy right now. Oh, bloopy, bloopy. <laughs> oh, Giz. Thank you, Molly. Tickle, tickle. Be good. Be good. <laughs> Be good. <laughs> good boy. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Oh, my gosh. I'm learning bloobs talk. He is, he's been such a robot today. <laughs> what is that? That's a tickle tickle. Tickle tickle be good. Go, huh? 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 That's it. <laughs> Giz, you want to go on the floor? Do you want to go for a walk? I think... Giz! Giz, come on! Pew, pew! Pew, pew! Pew! Pick a boy! Ah. <laughs> He's a very chatty bloob. You're just a snuggle bunny right now, aren't you? Do you want to go on the stairs? And then we can show you. No, you're not leaving mum. You're not leaving me, are you? Like, nope. <laughs> Stop. Stay on me. You can stay on me. 
You done? <laughs> of course not. Step up. Step up. Go on that hand. Good boy. That's my good boy. That's my good gizmo. Oh, tickle, tickle, be good. Let's put some more lights on. Say hi. Hi. All right, Mr. Lover Boy. Regurgitate. You don't need to regurgitate. Robo blue. <laughs> oh, you you might be able to hear Gez. Hang on. Okay. All right. All right, we're brave at Gaz. All right, all right, all right. Oh, thank you, Cheryl Lee. I'm gonna brave it. I have, I have my dinner down my top. I have a mum bun. I'm a wreck. But uh, hang on, let me try and. Right, he's um. I know. He's here. He's trying to regurgitate. Ah, there he is. But yeah, look, my hair. Ooh. Where did Bloopy go? Do, 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 do. You found the fish? You found the fish. Oh my gosh. No, I can't sing that. I uh, I used to sing it to him because it really, <laughs> used to, he just used to laugh at me. Um, oh, Courtney, store up. Stop. Hang on. Luby's looking at the fish. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Hang on a minute. Oh, he's coming in. I have to show you this. Hang on. Hang on. It's hard one handed. One second. Oh. Where's the fish? Oh goodness gracious me. Now the comments are there. <gasps> What's that? He's just discovered them. <laughs> I have oh, okay. I have um I have adopted fish. They weren't my fish. They basically um came to us. My daughter's friend stayed with us. 
and uh, it was just in a bowl. This little um, this little bowl, and it was so unhappy. And then we went and got it that because it's it's one of those um, what are they called? What are you doing? Um, what are they called? What are they called? The fighter ones. You can only put one in there. One of them. So we, we hooked him up. Let me show you. Be easier. I'm trying to oh, like Gizmo is just it's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. See I got a bit of England with me. Hang on. Well, why can't I do that? There we go. So what do we call him? Satan and Demon, because you'll see why. Hang on. These are just a little adoptees, hang on my cameras. Giz, you're making this difficult, dude. Um, one's red and one's like completely white and looks like a demon. Um, not that I can see either of them, but there they are. They're the, they're our, they're our rescue fish. <laughs> He's been so clingy, like ridiculous. And we got in this, um, beautiful tree. I'll try and put him on it. He won't go on it. He won't go on it. Ruby, come here. I'm trying to put some more lights on. Here's Bob, I love you. My little stinky girl. Right, um, let me see which branch I can try and put you on. Let's try and put you on that one. There we go. Wanna go on that? Step up. He's like, no. No, I'm gonna come closer. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. You're just not that nifty with the old um he's not very greatly balanced. Hang on. This is really hard one-handed. There's Kyle just chilling upstairs with Bean in the comments. Alright, guys. There you are. He's still. Oh my goodness! Oh, let's use the mask. That's my shoes. And this is what I do. This is, people don't think I hold Gez. I hold him a lot, and he's he's got really used to it now. Oh, stop! It is a fancy tree, but I I think Bird is the only one that goes on it. Um, can we see Blue Bee go? Of course you can. It's only pretty in the places. Let, let, let's normalize mess. Let's normalize mess right now, okay? It looks pretty in the areas I showed you, okay? So this is the corner, the pizza slice that my kids fight over every day, okay? And my pillows are just scattered. And then that's the substitute side. But they fight over that corner every day. Okay, it's not that messy, but it normally is. Look, I have tissue on the floor. Tissue on the floor, okay. Uh, oh, look. Normalize. Bird poop. We have bird poop on the floor from bird. Sorry, this is really hard. Okay, let's do a kitchen tour of my mess. Okay. See, look, mess. I made chicken stew. It was it was pretty good. And there we go. There's my mess. <laughs> um, sorry, I've missed so many comments now. But yeah, and then oh, bird's taking herself to bed. Bless her. Bluebee's there. Sorry, that was really delayed. Yeah, we, oh my gosh. Unless you've got no children. I have I have four kids. Granted, one's just moved out. 
I have a really messy teenager and I have two younger ones and I have three birds and one dog and it gets messy and I have to have these I'll show you hangers I have these mats down that's seed and poo but I wash them like every two days I wash them it saves it going on the floor because if anyone knows birds and birds poo it's like it is like um what is it? It's like concrete. Bloop! Are you going to have a preen? Um, we should get a bird. But I like them too much. I would say my easiest bird is actually Gizmo. Yeah, four kids including Carl. Yeah, he's hard work. He's hard work. Um, the crock pot is the one of the best inventions. I agree. You know what? I didn't even know what to cook today, so I was just like, I had chicken, and I didn't want it to go to waste because I was gonna make um like a a British roast dinner, but I didn't have all the stuff, and I couldn't be bothered to go to the shop. And um, so I had potatoes, carrots, onions, and then I had some stock, but it wasn't chicken stock; it was beef stock with red wine and I was just like let's just try it put a bit of Worcester sauce in a bit of garlic and bam it was nice could have been better but it was nice let me put him back on he's here still just cuddling just cuddling watch my boobies though watch the boobs As girls do fear for our nipples, I'm not going to lie. I can't even imagine what that would be like. And Bird seems to like nipples. Stop! Oh, yeah, look. Oh, you can't. There's a bit of dinner. And there's a bit of dinner. There we go. Normalising humanity. Who needs to be perfect, eh? But, yeah. Giz, should we try and put you back on now? Right, let me put it on blue. Oh gosh, I'm not good at this one-handed. And this is my lefty. You have a tarantula? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so human. I am. I'm really human. Honestly, I've got sweatpants on. Yep, my dinner all down me, mum bun. It's all going on. It's all going on. Oh, perfection is overrated. Do you know what? It, it would be exhausting to have to be perfect all the time. Exhausting. Yeah, it's crazy what Kyle said. Yeah, Gizmo loves chicken. He loves meat. So it's, it's nuts. Hang on. Luby, are you tired now? Like right from a snack? From a snack? Your mum's love over a snack? Oh, that's cute. Okay. I guess we're still talking. I guess we're still snuggling. Okay. Bloop. I'm going to go back, okay? Beep, beep, beep. Beep. Right. Aw, who was that? So a cannibal. Uh, absolutely. Thank you, pros, 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 I can never say that word, procrastinator. I'm really bad at, like, English. Thank you so much for the gift. Let me put it back on gears. Hi, Giz. But he's a loving, sweet boy. And they told me he was too aggressive to be rehomed. They said he was unadoptable. And if you just want a cute bird that sits in a cage, he was the one. And look at him. He's a sweet boy. You're my sweet boy. If he could get closer, he would. Yeah, birds put, literally put herself to bed. <laughs> my Aunt Fanny. Um... He may be to other people, but not to me. And he's he's really, really nicer to um 
Kyle now. But yeah, now he's learning how to love and how to be gentle. He didn't know human touch, so it took him a while. Still to this day, he will still sometimes flinch when I um, when I give him love. But um, he's he's learning that it's not so bad and that it's actually really nice to be loved, isn't it, Giz? I can't even imagine the gizmo before just being in that cage. So, exactly, Molly. He's a good boy and he loves it. I hope he gets over it too. He's like very, he's still very, I mean, African greys in general are very, very, um, everything makes them nervous. Um, but when, when they like, that's how he, he, I, he can't fly, which breaks my heart because my other two are fully flighted. But if he could fly, my life was, <laughs> is a game over and it gets, you'd just be on me all the time. At least you've got to like walk to me. Yes, I I just wish I could just like I can't touch his back, which like um Sarah beautifully can hug Casey and her Casey's wings kind of like hugs her, which I'd love to do with him, but he is too hormonal and he would want to make babies. So you have to just touch their head and neck and I try and keep them as close to me as possible like for as big of hug as we can but um i can't like touch the back because it makes them a little little horny is the word and it's not good because we can't make eggs baby we can't where's the time eight o'clock Yes, we we were beginner bird owners and um we we knew nothing about it. And we we did the the thing where we went to a pet store and saw a cute bird that we named Bird. And uh but because of Bird we rescued two others because we realized through research how many how many of these birds are surrendered every day or just let outside to fend for themselves, which they can't do. And um, that's how we got Gizmo and Bloob. And that we can advocate for these 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 babies that just get abandoned. So it was it was a you know a beautiful mistake because it was a mistake to buy from a pet store and in, in you know the breed in which I don't support because I do I truly believe they should be in their natural habitat and they should be with their own kind. But you if I was to set him free, he would he would die. He would he would literally die. Hi. Exactly, Mel. Um, like we rescued that one. We tried every. It was a green cheek Konya, and we tried everything to find the owners, and nope, couldn't find the owners. So it must have been people get these birds because, and I don't want to be responsible for that because we do show cute videos, but we're trying to show more realistically how hard they are. They see a cute video, think that they're really easy, and then they go buy a baby, and they're hard. So then they just get rid of them. He couldn't forage for food, no. Um, one, he can't fly, so he'd be open to so many predators. Um, and two, 
the food where we live, because he is in captivity, we live in Canada, so it's not his natural place. So he wouldn't be able to find anything substantial enough for him to survive. Um, Indian ringnecks are different. They're built differently. They're more survive, you know, they can survive. Um, in, in some parts of the world, they're actually banned as pets because they've become a pest. But um, conyers and other parrots like Gizmo could not survive. Could not survive. You think they could. You think they could just fly somewhere and pick and eat berries and stuff, but they can't. Yes, they, they, they are hard. Um, I would say the hardest bird we have is Bird. She's a Gende Konya. She's very demanding. She's still young, though. She's going to be three in April. Um, maybe Gizmo's not as hard because he can't fly, so he's not, like, flying around the house causing destruction like Bird does. She literally has so many toys, but she wants to wreck everything else in the house. Be. What are you doing? What are you do 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 do? Um, sorry. Shrek says he loves you. I'm assuming it's a he. Shrek Shrek. Shrek Shrek Shrek. Are you a are you an Apollo fan? <laughs> That's awesome. Ah, oh, thank you, Cosmo. And for every hundred people in the chat, well, ninety-nine. Please, if you're not already following Cosmo the Funny Pirate, you will not be disappointed. She, she is a one-off. She's a one in a billion bird, and she's amazing. <laughs> yes, and Bloob loves her. Yeah, that was good timing, Bloob. Um, gives me, hang on a second. Gizmo lives in the hive, so he lives in the cage. And, you know, I only met his past owners three times. And they seem lovely. But, and their intentions were good. He, I don't think he was ever mistreated or beaten but he was definitely neglected. The, these, these parrots need so much time. And that's why, like, they, they flourish when they're given the attention. And you can tell, you know, the, the birds. I mean, obviously, Gizmo could speak a lot. He did, Shrek. I love it. You um, have his previous only kept in touch, do they? They probably know how famous he is. We kept his name. Um, sometimes he speaks in their voices. Um, but not once did they ask, not once have they got in contact with me to say, how's he doing? It was always me um, giving them updates. And after so long, I stopped. You know, they, they would always write back, but um, it was always me. Um, they are little feathered toddlers. You're welcome, Tracy. And, like, Kyle and I, we are not bird experts. We are learning like parents. As you go, you, you, you're you not, as soon as you have a baby, you're not an expert. I've had four and I'm still learning, four kids, and I'm still making mistakes, and I still will, and the best thing you can do is just try and learn from them, and just try your best, and that's all you can do. That's what I always say to my kids at school, because they always they always panic over tests and stuff, and I just say, as long as you know you tried your best, that's all you can do. And that's how, you know, we need to tackle everything in life. 
Thank you, Leatherface. They are amazing birds. We do make mistakes. I used, I used to be struck. Oh, hi. You look. Um, those are life bunker men. Yes. And um, we we learned to bloop. No, we learned today that they're actual in captivity. They can live up to forty five, which scares me because he's seventeen now. But that's another twenty eight years. And if that happens, then I'll be in my seventies. And we can go together if that's the case. I don't want him to to experience like life without me. And I wouldn't want to experience, because he's going to be my forever baby. My kids are going to be independent. They're already independent. My youngest is nearly 10. And, um, but Gizmo is going to be that, that one thing that just stays with me. Learn from our mistakes we were bound to make. Yes. And it's good to admit. It's good to say I was wrong, I'm sorry. In an argument. I'm ask Kyle, I am the most stubborn person in the world. But once I've calmed down and I'm like and I know I was wrong, I will admit it. And I will say sorry. Hi, Marcia. Oh, my kids have come back. So I'm going to say goodbye. And I'm sorry to cut it really short. But um, thank you, every single person, for joining us. I appreciate all the love. And um, we will be back soon. All right? Goodbye. Bye. Uh